Hello, everybody. This is Brian from Slicey Dicey. Hi. YouTubes. Already got a couple people watching. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm going to wait till a few more people show up, and then I'm not going to hold it off for long. I, I put on the title. This was mostly to do the 500 giveaway instructions. Currently sitting pretty close to 450, and I'm gaining on average about 10 a day, so I think that's going to be about a week before I fit 500. Hey, DE, of course you're here. Would not be the same without you. I think I'm going to hit 500 in about a week, so I wanted to um, uh, give everybody at least a week to uh, reply to this so that I can, you know, um, yeah, we got seven out already, so I'm just going to explain it. Get her off the bat if people are watching this not live. So how this is going to work, I have the 500 giveaway. I think it's going to happen in about a week when we hit 500. I'll go live again when that happens. And what the giveaway is is I had it put away. A smarter person would already had it out. It lives currently in my little EDC pack, so it doesn't get used much. But I'm going to give away, not this Chris Reeves Sabenza. I just had it out for something to have on the table. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm giving away, still a really good knife, this Ontario Wrap Model 1, the OS 8 version. It has the box and all that stuff. Uh, I will... Uh, I was here first. Um... <clears throat> What's going to happen is if you guys reply to this in the comment section with something about what I said in the video, it doesn't have to be super smart or anything, just something about what I said so I know you actually watched the video. I'm going to do random drawing from people who commented on this video, and then I will give away the this Ontario Rat Model 1 in OS 8. But, surprise, it's cool. It's cool looking, and... Um, you know, my, my son actually carried it a few days and liked it, but I'm going to give away that tonight to somebody. In these comments, Kilimanjaro be mine. Yeah, so I'm going to pick somebody tonight, and uh, I will, I'll go through the comments when this is over with, and I'll pick somebody. It's kind of hard to keep track of all the live ones, but yeah, so those are the rules, and I'll bring them up again a couple times. Uh, normally these last about a half an hour. I'll bring it up a couple times. So again, the rules are, you know, somewhere in the 500... When I hit the 500 subscribers, somebody who comments on this video is going to win this Ontario Knife Model 1 and OS 8. And someone tonight in the comments is going to win this Kilimanjaro Alatro. So, yeah, I don't have the box for this because it came in a blister pack thing, and I don't keep blister packs. That's kind of my, my limit. I keep boxes, don't keep blister packs. But, yeah, you guys want to see some stuff that's coming up? I'm sorry, my wife's yelling at the cat down there. Yeah, the OS 8 one's still pretty nice. The Glock, yeah, it is. It's a, uh, it's still a really good knife. I really like it. I mean, I had, I bought one, and um, like I said, it lives in kind of my little EDC pack. So, uh, it's kind of my backup to my backup that I carry around. But um, now I'll, I'll probably just put the D2 one in there. So, let's talk about some stuff we got coming up. I have a very nice guy named Mike who sends me lots of stuff to review, and I got some cool stuff. Uh, one of these was this Chris Reeves Spenza, which I'm buying, so he ain't getting that back. Um, yeah, you guys saw I talked about the Chris Reeve. I'm uh, I'm looking forward to this. I'm really going to beat on it. I've already beat on it today. I cooked dinner with it and stuff, you know. I'm really going to use this thing. Uh, Chris Reeves says it's meant to be used. It's meant to work. I'm going to hold him to his word. I'm going to work with it. And uh, then I'm going to, I want to get it to a point in two or three months that I have to send it back for service because I want to see what, uh, I want to see what, um, what happens it's 3 a.m. where you are. Man, you guys need a life. That's uh, 3 a.m. Even I'm asleep by then. I want to go to bed about 1.30. But yeah, I want to visit to the point where I have to send it back. I want to document that, that uh, kind of, that, that whole experience of sending it back, how long it takes to get it, what they do, what it looked like when I sent it, what it looked like when I came back. So, yeah. I'm probably going to take some really detailed, like, high-res photos before I send it back and after I get back. I got whole plans for it. I think it would be cool. Nobody really documents that. Uh, another cool knife that Mike sent me, I think you guys might be interested in, that uh, he's also not getting back. This one I am going to keep. Uh, this is the Spyderco Lum. This is the large one. I don't know, it just struck me. It's got a whole lot of things that I should like about it. I just spent, if you guys watched my Delica video, I just spent a lot of time ranting about Spyderco's VG10. Not to be, uh, yeah, have them install dual thumb stud. That's actually something I was actually going to do, JCB. That's actually, I was going to do that. So, yeah, thanks for pointing it out, but I'm absolutely going to do that. It only has the one, and I would kind of like it to have two. 
just because, I don't know. I'm never going to use the other one, but it would be nice to have two on it. But yeah, this is the Spyderco Lumen VG10. I just spent a lot of time complaining about Spyderco's VG10, and it's not that great, and I still maintain that. It has a uh, Teflon bushing on one side, and a I shouldn't, it's, it's too big. I should not like this knife, but I really do. It's kind of enchanted itself to me. I don't know, it's just so big and cool looking, and I don't know, I just really like it. <clears throat> it is very smooth. I, it was smooth when I got it, but I tore it apart just to see what it was like, and I lubed it up again, and it's even smoother now. But, isn't that just big and cool? I don't know, it's a bit, uh, as Nick Shabazz would say, murdery. But, I like it. It is kind of, it's just kind of neat. I'm going to adjust one of my lights here really quick, because uh, I think one of them got bumped. There we go. Cat was on my desk again, I think, so. Yeah, I, I really like this thing. Do you guys like the one? I think it's it's kind of cool. They don't make it they don't make it anymore. They they you can still find the little lums, but uh yeah. Show show your hands. My screen is stuck. I don't know what that even means. But yeah, this is uh this is pretty cool. I like this. And he also sent me the original lum. This is what now they call the medium sized lum with the Nishijin glass fiber handles. This thing is so pretty. Yeah, exactly, DE. It's it's hideous. This is both of these. Both of these lums are hideous and ridiculous and stupid, and I love them both. This is just really, these this Nishijin stuff is so pretty. You can still get the little lum within Nishijin, but um, yeah, I'm sorry. If you're staring at five knives, I don't know. I think that's your internet connection or something, and nobody else is complaining. Sorry, mate. I don't really know what to tell you. But yeah, this is uh, this is pretty cool. It's it, this is very slippery. This is much less, if you can call this practical, which you can't. This is a bit less practical than that. But yeah, uh, the large one is just weird, Gordon. But I kind of like that. Um, I kind of like that it's weird. It's just gonna go in the collection. But I'll probably carry it a little bit. It's just kind of cool. I think these, uh, you, I did see one still available on Amazon for the old real tail price. These were about 200 bucks when they were uh, new. Um, this one is, is pretty used, so I'm not paying anywhere near that. So it's probably just going to wind up going in the collection. But uh, this one, I, he won't let me buy, and I probably wouldn't, honestly. The decision looks cool, but it's so slippery. I would never carry this. It's just, I know that I would slip up and cut myself because I'm a fool. Another one... I oh, will stick with the Spider Co. theme. You'll see something about them. Not quite sure what this is. This is a Manix 2 XL. This is the carbon fiber with the S90V. Do not have the opportunity to buy this, even if I wanted to. Um, he definitely wants this one back. This was a sprint, and they're gone now. But I do like the Manix 2 XL. It does kind of make me tempted to try and find the regular one in S30V. I don't think I'd buy a new one. But if anybody had a deal on a regular one, I might jump on that. And lastly, and then I'll give the giveaway instructions again in case some of you guys are just popping on. Make sure I got the right one, and I don't. I have two best techs here, and they're both very similar looking. So when they are closed, so I got to make sure I got the run. Here we go. The best tech Warwolf. I don't know if you guys know a lot about best techs. I know they are still kind of new, but I really like best techs. I have this Warwolf that I'm. Well, this is a loner, but uh, that review will actually be out in the morning. I already recorded it and have it. I finally figured out how to do the timed release thing on YouTube. I finally figured that out so I can schedule releases. So, yeah, the Werewolf is really nice to eat. It's pretty cool. Uh, very thick handle, uh, 0.6 inches. But, um, yeah, it's a it's a cool knife and a cool alternative for a lot of stuff. I think I think Best Tech's doing that really well. Like, I reviewed the Scimitar a while ago. Hey, Sean, how's it going? Um, yeah, I, I think... Best Tech makes some really good alternatives for if you're looking at a, you know, fifty dollars. These are fifty-two bucks each. D two steel G ten handles. They're really nice, and ball bearing flippers. They're pretty cool. And I think if you're looking for an alternative to, you know, your average forty fifty dollar knife, you can find a lot of stuff in D two now. Obviously, like this is the Rat two and D two. This is my other Rat two or my mama, sorry Rat one in D two. Uh, you can find other. This is about the same price. But if you just want something that's more stylized, you know? Yeah, oh, the swordfish. Yeah, I got to get my hands on one of those. Um, let me buy one in a while. Uh, I was actually 
thought about buying one um, the other day, but I got something else because I have something to compare it to. I actually instead bought a Kershaw Skyline that'll be here shortly. That's the regular size one. I already did the XL. It's not because I wanted one, especially. I, I hear they're great. It's the USA made one, but I wanted to compare it to this DeWill Modus. I've been trying to find something to compare to the Modus for a while, and I think that's a really good comparison. So, you guys, let me know if you think that's a good comparison. But I, I love the Steel Wheel Modus, and uh, I liked the Skyline XL a lot more than anyone else did. It actually got kind of panned, but I kind of liked it. But it was a Chinese-made version. The regular size one is made here with better steel. So, Kilimanjaro size comparison to the Best Tech. Making demands! Yeah, yeah, you should want a modus. It's pretty cool. Actually, I'll reach over here and grab it in a second. I got all my stuff laid out. Yeah, it's pretty similar. Um, the handle thickness, it's even thicker, though. I don't remember. I did a review on this. It's its somewhere, if you go back in my videos, on the Kilimanjaro. But, yeah, this is... Uh, and it's a heavy sucker, too. What is the... Here I'm panning the knife that I'm going to give away to one of you people. But, um... You people. thats I shouldn't use words like that. Whoop. It turned off on me. Isn't this better than watching the State of the Union, by the way? That's on live right now, and I'm a political junk. I usually watch that stuff, but 6.4 ounces. But I thought I'd rather talk about knives, so uh, when do you get your Sapenza, Tim? Uh, whenever, whenever the hell you buy one, that's when you get it. You're not getting mine. Uh, this is going to be around for a while. Like I, I said in the initial review, my initial plan was to keep it for three or four months. I thought I could get the full Sebenza experience in that amount of time. But now, um, <clears throat> within just, I've had it for 36 hours and I'm already really liking it. And I, I'm probably going to keep it around. It's, it's cool. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, even my, my wife, who's not a fan of knives at all, um, kind of thinks this is a weird little hobby I have. But she picked it up today because I was uh, cutting food and stuff with it. And she picked it up and thought, well, no, that, that this is only $400? I, I was shocked she said that. But she has an appreciation for good craftsmanship. She's an artist and a photographer, and we both ride a lot of really expensive bikes, so she spots stuff. Let me bring out a Modus really quick. Somebody mentioned the Modus, so since we have this out here. Oh, where is it? There we go. Only a couple of seconds of dead air. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this is the Modus compared to that. Yeah, the Modus is really nice. And um, I think it's one of the best knives they make. I like the size. I like the cut jacks too, but I really like the Modus a lot. I do have currently the carbon fiber Modus on order, on pre-order, but I may withdraw it because... Um, Saw some stuff at the SHOT Show things. It's got a G10 spacer on the back, and I know that's stupid to be upset about that, but it's like the, the cheap one has aluminum and the expensive one has G10. I watched Love Them Nye's video with him, and I think he said something like to the girl, like right to her face, said something like, that's not what I would have done. And I agree. Like, if, if you're, that's an expensive knife. It's like 200 bucks, carbon fiber scales, and then they've got a G10 back spacer where the cheap one has aluminum. I don't know. I don't like that very much, but uh, we shall see. <clears throat> yeah, the Modus is really nice. I really like it. It's a good-looking thing. I really do. I think all these... Yeah, that was, wasn't that funny, D? It was really hilarious when he did that. Just totally called her out. But this is a... Uh, I, I love all these D2 plasticky, you know, uh, steel wheels. I don't like the print on any of them. I especially don't like the print on the Modus. But... 3.25 inches, great EDC size. It's a really, really cool blade. So here's another, uh, since I have 13 of you on the thing right now, here's another announcement I have. Um, <clears throat> I did not go to SHOT Show. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, God. I, uh, yeah, she was just a sales rep person. And, uh, but it was funny. Anyway, um, I, I did not go to SHOT Show. Um, I'm not there yet. But uh, if I have a thousand subscribers, um, I am gonna go to Blade Show. I think that's what my level is. My other business is bicycle reviews. There are some awesome bike trails around the Atlanta area. I can make two business trips in one and write it all off. So I cannot see a reason why 
if I've got a thousand subscribers or so, I'll go to Blade Show. And now, if, if I have a thousand subscribers, I'll invest the money into making sure that I can record stuff and do interviews and whatnot. Um, that's something I have a lot of experience with. So uh, I think that would be pretty cool. So yeah, I'm hoping to go to Blade Show. So hopefully you guys will see some some stuff coming up there. I'm committing to it. If I have more than a thousand subscribers, then I will do it. I have friends I can stay with. So uh, yeah, and the way, thank you guys so much, by the way. Thank you guys so much for, I'm amazed at how fast I've gained subscribers. We're not huge yet. But I mean, hitting near 450 in what? Less, well, less than two months. I'm happy with that. Some of my, I, I have like almost 10 videos now with over a thousand views. I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm, and you guys have been cool. I've gotten no death threats yet, so that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's what I should say. That's nice. But uh, yeah. It was, uh, I'm in the bicycle review business and I have gotten death threats. I've got, I think I'm over 10 now. So yeah, it happens. Whenever you do anything on the internet, you get death threats. That's just what happens. But, uh, yeah, I haven't gotten, I thought I was going to get for that spider code Delica video. If you guys want to talk about that, that was my most controversial one. I got some angry emails, but no, um, no death threats yet. But, uh, yeah, the Delica is just done. I don't, I don't understand why you'd buy one right now. So you guys want to talk about that we can hang out here for a few minutes anything else you guys want to see i got that you saw before or anything like or in my instagram or nothing i, I can pull them out um what was something else i'm gonna do a review oh here's another one that's kind of new that i just did in the thing oh wait do you receive nice bikes oh yeah i do mostly recumbent bicycles i don't know if you guys know what those are the kind of laid back ones but yeah i don't get them uh i don't get uh free ones they're loaned to me or ad trades or whatever and yeah, the last comment, I'm sorry I missed your name. I, yeah, the death threats are just, I don't even take them serious. Nobody's ever, you know, my, my favorite ones are where they say, I know where you live. And I'm like, yeah, the address is on my website, Columbo. Like, I don't, you're not going to come here. It's fine. Um, I did wind up having to get one guy arrested um, in Texas about bike stuff. He was trying to scam people. And I called him out, and he didn't like that, and he sent me death threats, and um, uh, turns out uh, he has an arrest warrant in New York State now. So if he ever travels to New York State, he gonna get arrested. Uh, they're not going to extradite him, obviously. It was just internet death threats, but I got sick of it. So, yeah, because he ripped some of, my custom, some of my readers off, and I didn't like that. So uh, I stuck up for my readers and got him arrested, or will get him arrested if he ever comes here. Anywho... Yeah, this lum is pretty cool. I, I'm drinking. I don't know if you guys are you guys are beer drinkers, but uh, we just discovered today at our local grocery store, which is Wegmans, which is the best. It's box season. Yeah, I know Genesee beer doesn't get out of New York State very much, but uh, this is a personal endorsement for Genesee Bach beer, of which I will take a sip to clear this uh, phlegm out of my throat. Let's one more time in case people are just popping in. The giveaway instructions are, I mean, I'm going to post them in their thing when it's done in the description. What I'm giving away is the RAT Model 1 in OS 8. Um, yeah, plus one for New York State. Are you a New York Stater? Uh, I'm giving away the RAT Model 1 in OS 8 when I hit 500 subscribers, and I will just pick a random one from the uh, comments in this video. And at the end of the night, I'm going to pick one person from the comments in this video for the Kilimanjaro Alatro, which is a uh, unique knife. Isn't that the nice way you say something like that? It's a unique knife. Uh, I did a review on this for you guys. I'll link to it down below, but uh, yeah, it's all right. I mean, it's heavy, six and a half ounces, kind of overdone, but yeah um anything else you guys want to see that i got hanging out i'm gonna bring out what's the oh here's my this was my carry today along with this benz i try and carry this benz as much as i can because i want to get that full experience but this is the domino spider code domino i carry this a whole lot this is probably my favorite thing that i own um knives and everything otherwise oh here's another question i have for you guys since i have a good number of you on here right now um 
I call this slicey dicey, which is pretty knife specific, but uh, what do you guys feel about me doing a few other kind of EDC sort of, um, what's my sharpening setup? I'll get to that in just a minute. Um, what's the, uh, uh, your opinion of me doing some other EDC type stuff? Like, uh, for instance, I have a fair number of little flashlights, got my little Seiko 5, which I adore with the intensity of a thousand suns. And I'm, I'm kind of thinking about doing more of that. I've got my, uh, yep, my EDC pen that I can't find. So that's typical of me. Nice Boker 50 cal pen that I can't lay my hands on at the moment. But uh, yeah, let me know if you guys think um, you love all kinds of EDC videos. Yeah, so I'll start doing that. I did one uh, earlier with the, I think last year with the, you know, I kind of went through all the stuff I keep in this little pack I carry around, some of which has already changed. And, um, you know, what's on my keys and all that stuff. Yeah, I think I'm going to start doing more of those. So, EDC pocket fixed blades. I am not a fixed blade guy. I do have two, and they're right here. Um, so, I'll pull them out. I've got this actually... How many knives do I have in my collection? Um, I'm not sure. 30? 40 30 or 40 i'm actually selling a big block of them right now trying to get rid of some of them so uh we'll see but yeah fixed blades i've got a sog seal pup i've had this for an eternity um often just lives by my bed or something you know in that weird stupid never gonna happen scenario if somebody breaks in my house i got that that's dumb the only uh fixed blade that i carry fairly often i take this hiking and stuff this is a sog something i don't remember even what it's called it's sog instinct uh this is a fixed blade i carry when i go hiking or bike touring or something like that but i'm not really a huge fixed blade guide just mostly because some of the folding knives are so good that for my tasks i'm not doing super heavy duty stuff i do camp and do outdoor stuff a bit but not enough that i think i really need to have a crazy you know fixed blade Let's just change up the knives a bit. What else do I have around here? Oh. You guys like the song? American Lawman! I got that. That's always around. I like that. I love my American Lawman. I carry it all the time. I don't know if you guys like it. So, you're into bikes by two guys, mountain bikes and knives. I used to be, this is, okay, brag alert. Yeah, I used to race for a Trek Volkswagen. I was a semi-professional mountain biker for two years um, in the late 90s. Uh, had to retire because... I hit my head too much. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I got, got too many concussions and wound up having to retire. But I was, uh, I was, my nickname was All Power No Skill. So I would be the first to the top of the mountain and then I'd fall three times on the way back down the other side. So, uh, yeah, had to retire. Don't miss it. Um, wish I could have been a road racer. Couldn't, wasn't good enough. But, uh, yeah. Oh, somebody asked about my sharpening setup. Um,. <clears throat> I have, I don't remember the name, one of those big Lansky things, but, um, which is okay. I know it's not outstanding, but I have so many knives that I rotate around that they don't usually get too bad. Um, so mostly what I use is this, uh, little Lansky box thing with the cylindrical stones. That's mostly what I use. And mostly I just use these because I'm very conscious. Every time I carry a knife, I, uh, I... If I know I've carried it for a couple of days, I touch it up. And if you can touch it up, uh, you know, if you keep them touched up, you don't need anything super serious. The only time you need something super serious is if you are, you know, reprofiling, things like that. For 90% of people, something like this is going to work just fine. Yeah, and how, do, how well does a lawman carry in pocket? Very well. It's uh, really thin. It's super thin. So, yeah, it carries pretty good. It's thick. But it's super thin, so, which that, that sentence doesn't make any sense, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, is, uh, oh, can under 18 join? No, I can't. I'm not going to send anything under 18 to or anyone, anything to anyone under 18. But no, it carries pretty good. I wish there was a better way to see the, oh, I think we can. Let's touch this. No, the chat viewing options, show live chat messages trying to get so I can see all your past chat messages. It's not letting me do that, but sorry if I missed any of them. No, it does carry pretty good. Yeah, sorry, Jared. Um, it's, you know, 
paranoid about that stuff. And some states even have laws that are so specific about knives. Like an under 18 can carry this. I know New York. In New York, you can carry a, if you're under 18, you can carry a folding knife under three inches, but not over. And I don't want to get into all that. But since someone have brought up the rules, bring that up again in case somebody's is piping in right now at 500 subscribers, which hopefully will be in about a week or so. Um, I'm going to pick one of the comments on this video and give away the Rat Model 1 and Aus 8. And somebody in the comments tonight, I'm going to do the randomizer for that too, is going to get this Kilimanjaro Alachro. Uh, it is a Blade HQ sold knife. I mean, it's not like a cheap it is Chinese, but I mean, it's not like a, you know, cheap, ridiculous thing. So Kilimanjaro makes a whole bunch of other outdoor stuff. Knives are just kind of a side game for them, but it's kind of cool. It works all right. Manix 2 DLC, Colin Blake, who sold out in one hour today. You missed out. And the, the secondary is up to 325 now. Now, I have the, uh, the non-DLC coded one, and I had no intentions of getting the DLC one. I've got the, you know, the, you're talking about the M4 one, obviously. The Manix 2 M4 Blade HQ exclusive. Um, yeah, I, I didn't care. I, I don't like DLC coated blades. I got the regular one and I'm never getting rid of it. So, oh, you have an R2-D2 on your way. I've got, yeah, I've still got my two. I carry them a lot. I actually carry the carbon fiber one more, even though I don't like it as much. If that makes any sense. I don't like it as much in my hand, but where is it? It's right over here. <clears throat> no. Yeah, I don't carry, I, I don't like it as much in my hand, but, um, you're crossing, I'm crossing my fingers for yours, but my, my M4, is that what you're talking about? You're not going to get it. Uh, yeah, this is, um, this is cool. It's, it doesn't carry as well. I like the grippy of the, the brown one I have better, but it just looks cool. This has kind of replaced my gentlemanly folder. I've kind of got rid of all of them. 140 more Manix DNC coming to sale on February 6th. Well, yeah, I'm still not going to get one. Um, I like the idea of M4 because M4 rusts so easily. I do like the idea of a DLC coated M4, so you don't have to worry about the corrosion, but I like the look of my regular one better. And it's kind of a collector's piece for me. I don't really carry it a whole lot, so I can't justify spending all that money on getting the DLC coated one. I'd probably carry the DLC one more, but yeah, I don't care. And I just spent a bunch of money on stuff, so... Um, I got to slow down on the knife purchases for a while. But, uh, you, oh, you want that R2-D2 CF? That might come for sale someday. It's not likely, but it's possible. Um, oh, you're hoping the R2-D2 comes in the giveaway? It might, you know, that's not a bad idea. Uh, YouTube just screwed me, so, uh, I do need to get a big thing for a thousand giveaway because, um, they used to have the limit was just 10,000 views. And then now they've all of a sudden changed to before you can monetize videos. Now the limit is a thousand subscribers and some in 10,000 minutes of view, which I've already got that. That's fine. But now it's a thousand subscribers. So thanks, YouTube. I'm not expecting to make a lot of money off from the YouTube revenue. I've already got some irons in the fire to try and do more conventional advertising stuff on here. So you may see some me talking about some places and whatever, but um you know got to pay those bills got to keep the knives coming but uh that's my background i've done that i think i stay i know i've been doing this for 20 years reviewing products i've always stayed very objective but um i i'm talking to a couple of different knife shops and stuff about getting uh getting hey ltk how's it going man it's good to see you we were just talking we were just talking about a knife that i got from ltk yeah if you want to get the the ontario stuff early He's the man to talk to. I got these super early for him uh, from him. Yeah, he sent. Uh, I got two of these, and of course he did the review first, so that I couldn't be first. But I forgive him for that. But yeah, very very cool. Uh, LTK, great guy. This channel would not be here if it wasn't for LTK. He gave me a whole lot of help when I started out, a lot of advice and stuff. So yeah, um, yeah, the R two D two is amazing. They should make it in blue, don't you think? So we could have a blue and silver R two D two. R2-D2? That would be great. The R2-D2, R2-D2. It would be amazing. I'm a Star Wars nerd, so... Um, here's something I've been carrying a whole lot lately. This has become kind of my primary EDC until I got the Sebenza, I guess. But um, 
uh, yeah, the Spyderco S35VN. This is the, uh, what, some kind of distributor exclusive thing. Uh, but I found it at a local knife shop and they had it priced for the same price as a regular um, PM2 and I get a discount there. So I snag one. And uh, yeah, I like carrying it. It's uh, it's great. It, it's not exclusive enough that I worry about damaging it. So four inch blade with blue scales and M390 rat. Ooh, that'd be nice. Man, that would be nice, wouldn't it? I don't think Ontario's ever gonna do that though. I just don't see him doing it. You know, I think the most, the, the craziest thing in LTK, I don't know if, if I even, if you saw my video, I mentioned this. Um, so I live an hour from Ontario. So from the Ontario Knife Company. So when these came out, I called them and said, hey, can I just drive over and get one? And Ontario Knives themselves are never gonna see these. They said, no, it's, uh, it's a distributor thing. It's going straight to the distributor. We're never gonna have them. Isn't that crazy? Like the place that's name is on the box is never going to have them in stock. They just went straight to some distributor and sent out and they're never even going to see them. I thought that was the weirdest thing. I, I live an hour away. I thought I had the inside get. I could just drive over there as soon as they came off the boat. And nope. Can't do it. I just thought that was really weird. Well, we're up over half an hour here. Anything else? Anybody want to... A talk, yeah, it does not compute. It doesn't. Like, the company that makes them is never going to have them in the, in the building. Weird. Oh, you're late? No, you're not late. Uh, this is just... Uh, I'm going to do a, a randomizer giveaway thing. You made a comment. You'll be all right. The rules for the 500 subscribers giveaway is... Um, this The Rat Model 1 and OS 8. When I hit 500 subscribers, I'm going to pick a random person from these comments. I'm going to... Because that's going to be about a week from now, I think. At the rate that I'm getting them. Unless I do something terrible and uh, everybody unsubscribes before then. But uh, so we'll, about a week from now, we'll do that. And I'll jump in and uh, do another live video at 500 subscribers and pick a random comment from this video to give away this Model 1 and OS 8. And then from tonight's comments, as soon as I'm done here, I will uh, pick this. There's nothing wrong with LTK being obsessed with blue. I, so am I. So stop it. The only thing that's better is purple, but there are very few purple knives, except these Spyderco Blurples. That's why I have three of them. And everything that comes out in Blurple, I get one. But yeah. Hey, Mr. Goldfish. Mr. Goldfish. That's an interesting name. Yeah, but this one I'm going to give away, this Kilimanjaro Elatro, to one of the random comments from tonight. So I will do the randomizer thing on that when I'm done, and I'll notify one of you that you, that you want it. I can't do it when I'm live, because it's just too too complicated it'll be easy i'll do it live when um, i'm on the when i do the 500 subscriber video so waiting for the brown pair of three to match my pm2 yeah it'd be nice you know what the um s35 yep exactly the s35 is easier to sharpen than especially my other pm2 is uh s110v which i haven't had a problem with but this is easier so that's why i carry this one more i worry a lot less about digging this one up uh, somebody mentioned the pair of three. Hold on one second. This is actually a video I'm going to have to come up in a few days. Um, love the channel. Thank you. So, yeah, you're very welcome, Ryan. I very much enjoy doing it. Uh, it's It's been very rewarding. Did you see the Best Tech Knives Rhino? Oh, yeah, that Rhino looked really cool. And the Hornet. Both of them looked awesome. I'm doing uh, tomorrow morning. I, you weren't on, I don't think, LTK. Uh it's around here somewhere. I'm doing a Best Tech Werewolf uh, review tomorrow morning. It's pretty cool. I liked it. I was very impressed by it. Here it is. The Werewolf is nice. Oh, yeah, that M390 pair of three I was tempted by, but I didn't get it. Because um, I got the S110V, and S110V is pretty darn good. And I just, um, yeah. But, you know, I, I did the review of the pair of three, and I kind of, um, yeah, the Steel Will Intrigue. I think I already made. No, I didn't pair it. You can't yet, but I will as soon as you can. The uh, pair of three, I kind of gave it a, not a bad review, but, I mean, I liked it, but I was so morally offended by this stupid lanyard hole and how it made it carry so high. I put this deep carry pocket clip on it, but I'm actually going to do a, a video about this later this week, how I, how I came to love the pair of three. I was so mad about that stupid tube that I didn't carry it much, and and then I, it just kept finding its way into my pocket. And then the other day I tore it apart and serviced it and stuff. And 
it's working buttery super smooth now of course the, i can't do it when i'm in front of people but man yeah that lanyard hole is just stupid and i was so upset about that lanyard hole that i didn't really give the knife a fair chance i think and now it's it's in my pocket maybe more than anything else it probably will be less now that i got the sabenza it's not because the sabenza is the best thing in the world but i want to beat on the sabenza so i'm just trying to put miles on the sabenza um just to see if what they say is true but yeah can't wait lc200 native yeah that looks that 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 sounds good um some of the new spider coast stuff looks amazing too that mantra three and especially the amalgam oh i want an amalgam i'll be getting that as soon as it comes out I don't know if you guys looked at the 2018 stuff, the uh, SHOT Show stuff. That amalgam looks freaking amazing. It looks exactly like what I would want. I, I, like, I like carbon fiber, and I like compression locks, and I like fairly good-sized blades. So it's like they made it just for me. Yeah, their, their catalog was woefully unimpressive, but then they saved it up for that. So another little shout-out for Genesee Bach Beer. The Kaiser Theta. The Kaiser that I was most excited about, LTK, was the uh, the Kaiser Slip Joint. Because I spend a lot of time in Germany every year, and it was designed kind of especially for the uh, German market. So, because um, in Germany you can either have locking or one-hand opening, you can't have both. And I kind of like that it's a one-hand open slip joint. Kind of excited about that one, so I'm definitely going to be jumping on that. I know you got the Kaiser hookup, LTK. You gotta, you gotta make sure I get one. I leave for Germany in late April, so if it's available, I expect you to give me the hookup on one so I can get one. Um, and I, I will review it in Germany. I'll do it from a hotel room in Germany just to make it authentic. How's that sound? Yeah, um, I've got a few things for sale, by the way. I'm not going to drag them all out right now. You can check my Instagram, which I'll link down below and stuff. It's on there. I'm trying to get rid of a bunch of old Kershaws and stuff and some other things. A couple of Kaiser Vanguards. If you guys want to see them, I'll drag them out. But we're putting on uh, 40 minutes here, so I don't want to keep you guys around. But I got to keep the viewers keep going up, so I guess I'll just keep yakking. The PM3 with LC200 and a flipper tab would be sweet. Yeah, I don't think you can make a flipper tab work with the... Uh, the compression lock very well drag them out huh all right you guys are asking so this is this is by request guys i'm not being a shill people ask me to um <clears throat> not a whole lot we have make sure i got them all this is a lot of kershaws that i'm selling together I'm selling these together because uh, shipping prices, it would just be too expensive to sell these individually. So we got, what is this, a uh, Skyline XL, the uh, Emerson Flipper, or, or Emerson, uh, you know, with the Emerson tab, a Almar AM4, Dividend, uh, this is the basic Dividend, and the, uh, and a Link, this is the Tanto link. All these are like new in box except this. It's still in very, very good shape, but I don't have the box because I bought this at a big box store and it had a blister pack. I don't keep blister packs, so uh, I threw that out. But <clears throat> the rest of these are all like new in box, just use a little bit for reviews. That was it. Um, this one and this one, actually, all of these were purchased specifically for to do a review. So bottom did the review. Haven't carried them much, and no reason to keep this because my son's got one, so if I want to use it for a comparison or something, I'll just borrow his. But, uh, yeah, and this one it was the one I was, I, I this is probably the one I like the most, actually. I do like the Emerson, it is pretty cool, but, um, yeah, I just don't, it's been in my, it's been in my Spidey pack for, like, a month and not used, so... I just want to get rid of all these. I had them for, I've advertised my mouse for $110 shipped, all five of them. So if somebody wants them, slicydicey75 at gmail.com. Slicydicey75 at gmail.com. So, yeah, this, these are the ones I want to get rid of the most. Um, I was thinking about uh, you cut your tab off. It sounds painful. But I'm professional comedian here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Yeah, I did. I advertised a couple of Kaisers too, but um, I, uh, Vanguards. But um, I'm not. 
I don't care that much if I sell them. I'll bring them out, but I don't care that much if I sell these because if I have to keep them, it'll be fine. But, um, yeah, I've got the uh, Vanguard Dukes and the uh, Vanguard Gemini. I love both of these, but they just don't get used. So, um, I think I had this one for 55 this one for 65 and what is the math on that? Whatever the added price of those two, two together, if you guys want them both, I'll knock 10 bucks off because the shipping. So 65, 55, 10 bucks off if you want them both. They're, they're both also, just use them for reviews. Don't carry much. This one got carried a little bit, but not much. But they have the boxes, they have the claws, they have all that stuff. So if you guys want one of those, let me know. Is everybody bored yet? Anybody else got anything they want me to drag out and talk about? Somebody's got to be getting bored by now. I can't believe that 20 of you people are sitting here listening to me ramble on like this. It amazes me. I very much appreciate it, but I'm concerned for your sanity. Is everyone else just trying to avoid watching television right now because the State of the Union is going on? What's my favorite color? Purple. Uh, that was my wedding colors, purple and gray. And, and my wife is not the one that insisted on purple. That was me. I rock. I've I have not rocked. I have not rocked since the early nineties. I think so. <laughs> yeah, those days have passed for me. Um uh you got blazing saddles on. Oh, that's the best somebody go back. Does anybody have any dimes? God damn it, somebody go back and get a shitload of dimes. So you love Trump, I'm not gonna say anything. I just don't want to watch it. I didn't I didn't like watching it when when anyone was president, but right now I just don't want to watch it. I get too upset about politics. It just drives me crazy. Blazing Saddles is awesome. Uh, do you own any purple knives? Yes, I have. Uh, Spiderco calls it blue, but it ain't. This is pur uh, the Blurple Para 3, and then I got the same thing in the uh, PM2. And um, I am thinking about getting another one. I'm thinking about getting the uh, Manix 2 in the same blurp. I love Blurple. It's great. But I also like blue. Blue's the second second favorite but my other business uh bent rider the recumbent website i run is we do a whole lot of blue stuff and uh, that's our company colors and it is possible to get tired of blue <laughs> it is possible to get sick of looking at blue so um yeah but i did order this in blue because i didn't want to get the black that was too normal this is also an awesome knife by the way guys i know ltk if he's still on here i don't know I know LTK loves the uh, steel wheel stuff too they do some amazing things Ooh, the m390 cut jack yep it is fantastic. Sounds like a liberal. Yeah, but uh, the uh, I'm not no comment um, about my political standing because I think I'm in the minority amongst nice people. That's all I will, that's all I'll say about that. But I have no hatred towards anybody. So, uh, um, yeah, this is uh, I love this thing, man. Every time I pick it up, every time I like I don't carry it that often. But every day I do, I whip it out. I don't know if this is how you are, LTK. Every time I pick, whip one of these out, I'm like, why? why do i not carry this every day it's just so that is so smooth and so fluid it's there these are just so nice if you guys have never held or played with one of the italian bearings steel wheels man you're missing out it yeah the steel wheel does make some great stuff like the modus and the i have the mini cut jack the d2 plastic stuff is great for the for the price it's great but the Italian ones, man, they're great for any price. I know they cost as near as not to matter four times as much as the D2 Chinese ones, but whoa, my God, this is nice. I just convinced uh, my benefactor, Mike, who loans me a lot of stuff to finally get one of these, and I know he's going to be blown away. So, got yeah, this modus coming on Thursday. Ooh, new knife day. It's like Christmas. It's almost as good as new car day. Those are my two favorite days. New knife day and new car day. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was going to ask you, LTK. We just mentioned you earlier, LTK, by the way. I thought it was so funny when you were talking to the girl at Blade... At, uh, I mean, sorry, at a shot show about the carbon fiber modus, and you pointed out that it had G10 handles, and you said, I wouldn't have done that. That was hilarious. That was so funny. It actually... I, I've actually almost canceled my pre-order on the carbon fiber modus because of those G10, that G10 spacer. I'm just kind of like, man, that's a lot of money for g10 spacer but that was very funny man you i know you didn't intend to be funny but that was hilarious 
Yeah, it's just, you were like, I wouldn't have done that. That was really good. That was a great line. You got a genuine loud laugh out of me sitting at my desk when you said that to her. Good reporting, good journalism. Let's do the uh, rules again in case somebody's uh, jumping in here because I know it says giveaway rules. So at 500 subscribers, we're going to be giving away the Rap Model 2 in OS 8. I'm going to pick a random commenter from this uh, video. So all you do is comment on the video and you will get it. And then from the comments from tonight, someone is going to win the Kilimanjaro Electro, which is uh, a knife that exists that I got. Yeah, your SHOT Show video is really good, LTK. I really like it. Um, who are you, Nick Shabazz? Oh, did I say the wrong one? Oh, what? I said Rap Model 1. What? That's what it's called. That's what it's called. Did I say 2? Maybe I said 2. I don't know. Who knows? It's box season. So, uh, yeah, by box season, I mean... Whoop, sorry. Bumped the camera. I have my Genesee Bach beer here, so... Oh, did I say two? All right, whatever, sue me. I make mistakes. You know, I try and do all these videos in one take, and I don't know why. I mean, I do multiple takes, but I try and do the whole thing one at a time. I know how to edit video. I know how to do it, but I don't know. It feels more genuine to me when you do it in a one fluid from beginning to end video i think that's how ltk does his too it just doesn't look like they're chopped together very much but um yeah those rats trip up everyone goddamn rats <laughs> they're always stepping on them squeaking but yeah i like to do it just in one fluid thing and i have ltk here i've got one of the best knife youtubers around i'm gonna ask him questions right do you do them all just in one thing i try not to do a whole lot of editing unless i absolutely have to um like if my cat runs in, so uh, if that's the worst you say live, okay. No, I'm a professional comedian. Is uh, my I have two day jobs. I write about bicycles, and then at night I'm a professional comedian. I've said a lot worse things live than uh, mixing up one and two, for absolutely sure. And I will not repeat them here in front of you guys. But uh, yeah, I'm not a dirty comic at all. But uh, you know. Sometimes people in the crowd say stuff and they need to be made to leave. So I do that. But uh, yeah, I think we're going to start wrapping this up. We are got over 45 minutes now. But wow, thanks guys for hanging out. They're pretty consistent. Uh, yeah, I think we got up to like 25. Well, God, now we're back up to 21 again. Every time I say I'm going to go away, some of you guys jump on. So, But I think we're going to wrap it up. Um, yeah, we're pretty consistent, 20, 25 people. So very, very happy with that. And um, I hope when you guys win something. So um, uh, links to comedy stand-up. I don't have much on YouTube. Um, I actually, this is kind of weird, Sean. I actually um, lost control of my own YouTube channel. I don't. It's a weird thing, stupid Google permissions things, and they say you need um, uh, you need to like have the admin person ask for permission to control my own YouTube channel. I am the admin. I don't know what happened. I lost control of my own YouTube channel, and I haven't reestablished it. But uh, it's also kind of dangerous as a comedian um, to put your stuff up on YouTube because people steal it and people steal your jokes. So I don't put a whole up. A whole lot up on YouTube. I am on television a little bit, uh, not nationally. So um, I have my television experiences or experiences. Per, yep, my television appearances on uh, on video a few places, but I haven't uploaded them yet. But uh, if uh, if it's not on television, I don't usually put it up on YouTube. But um, I, I assure you, I am amazing. So we'll just leave it at that. So yeah, cough, Amy Schumer, cough. Yeah, that's a. That's a good, that's a good thing. If LTK, if LTK wins, I'll unsub. I would, I don't know if, I don't think I would let LTK win and I don't think he'd let me win his either. I think that's kind of an unwritten rule. If you are a YouTuber, you can't win each other's giveaways. I think, not that it's going to stop me from trying, but I think that's kind of my, uh, my unwritten rule. Uh, we Canadians need sock jocks for Trudeau. I don't even know what that means. I think Trudeau looks like a lovely man. But, uh, yeah, LTK needs a Kilimanjaro. It might be fun just to send it to him, just to have him, uh, um, just to have him rip it. Uh, I, that was one of my first reviews, and I, um, I was nicer to it than I should have been. If I reviewed it again now, I'd probably be even meaner than I was before. But it's not, a, it's not so far as to be a gag knife, but like my last, uh, live video, I gave away a complete piece of crap Tac Force thing. 
that was just a joke to uh, DE, I think, got it. But, um, yeah. LTK does all the videos without pants. Why do you think that I have pants on? I mean, the only reason I, I do currently have pants on, but the only reason I do is because it's, it's kind of cold out right now and I'm in my office and I have the door shut and the heat, I don't have a heat vent in here. Yeah, that's, why do you think we're on YouTube? No pants. I can wear whatever the hell I want. No matter what the hell I want. Do you, do you want to see my pants? No, I'm not going to do that. No, I'm wearing Levi's 501s right now. That's uh, all I wear. I, I, I would love to get a Levi's 501 endorsement. If somebody can hook that up for me, I would totally endorse Levi's 501s because that's pretty much all I wear. I like the button fly. They're good for good knife pockets and stuff. They're pretty good. Um, you found a, a cheap, cheap tack for us laying on the road one day. Well, then it was in its proper place. It was exactly where it should have been, and you should have left it there. You disturbed the balance of the planet by removing it. The attack force stuff is freaking awful. Um, the one I sent him is a, it's the best of the crap knives that I did on that Turkey Day video, but and I do have a uh, Z Hunter, which is infinitely worse, but still, um, and some other crap thing too. But one last little plug for the rules, since I still got some people joining in and coming away. Canadian? No, I'm not Canadian. I'm uh, upstate New York, which is as good as Canadian. It's like Canadian, but we swear a lot. Uh, we have the, when I hit 500 subscribers, the Rat Model 1 in Aus 8. I will uh, be giving that away from one of the comments on this video. I'm just going to do the randomizer and pick somebody, and they're going to get it. And then from the comments tonight, I will pick in the randomizer. Somebody is going to get this uh, Kilimanjaro, Alatro. So cool. You're an upstater too? Where are you at? Um, whoever just said they're from upstate, it scrolled by so fast. So, all right, we're coming up on an hour here. So I'm going to give one more chance, any questions, and then we're going to wrap this up. So Ticonderoga, I'm in Rochester, so you're not too far away. I did a gig in Ticonderoga a couple months ago at the casino here from Utah. I've I've driven through Utah once. Utica. Oh, that's cool. Jaden Ingalls. Um, yeah, Utica is nice, too. I've done a few gigs over there. Uh, it's okay. You just got to give them some nice knives so they can get a taste of what they're missing in the tech force life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of upstaters. This is cool. Uh, I didn't know. I didn't know I had a regional presence. So that's nice to know. Uh, you guys should come out to my shows. I guess I should promote them more often on here, right? Um, I actually don't have anything on the books coming up um, until, like, the fall. Charleston, South Carolina. I used to live in uh, Fayetteville, North Carolina, Vietnam, as it's usually called. Do you think the Benchmade 940 is overpriced? Well, uh, one of your favorite knives, but um, I'll put it this way. I don't have one anymore. Um, that's something I haven't talked about. I had a Benchmade 940. I bought it because it's one of the, you know, bars you judge stuff by. And, um, yeah. I just, I just got rid of it. I, I didn't use it. I mean, it's a great knife. It's fantastic. But I felt like I got the experience I needed out of it um, to know, okay, that's what a 940 is like. I'll remember that. And then I, you know, I got rid of it. So, yeah, I do kind of think the, the a lot of Benchmade stuff's overpriced. I think, like, the Freak and the Bug Out are about right. I, I really want a proper. I think the Benchmade proper is priced about right, but a lot of their stuff is just kind of ridiculous. And I did just sell my, uh, another spoiler alert. I'm going to talk about it when I do the Pair of 3 video, but I sold my Mini Grip uh, 20CV because it was, I could get a lot of money for it. And I um, sold it off. So yeah, I do think the only Benchmade I have right now is um, a very old uh, where is it? The only Benchmade I have right now is this, uh, oh, I put the safety on, automatic that I can't even legally carry in my state. But, uh, yeah, an old 9050 military issue that some military guy gave me. That's the only Benchmade I have right now. I don't hate Benchmade um, at all. Uh, I do think their stuff is pretty cool, but a lot of it doesn't super appeal to me. And, um, uh yeah, illegal. It's legal to own. I'm just not allowed to carry it, so it's okay for me to have it. I just can't carry it. But uh, yeah, it, I love a lot of the Benchmade stuff, but it's the prices I just can't justify. I'm in that kind of that way with Spyderco too. Some of their stuff too it looks great, but I'm nervous about all the stuff I'm really excited about. 
um, from Spyderco, like the a Mantra 3 and the Amalgam. I'm so worried they're going to be like $200. I would not be surprised if they are, and I'm going to be so upset. So, yeah. Yeah, I'd like a bug out, too. I actually almost bought I was at REI the other day, and, you know, the Benchmade price fixes, so the only penalty I pay is some tax if I buy it at REI, and I get the dividend back, so I thought about getting one there. But um, I'll probably get a bug out someday. It does look like something I'd really like. I don't hate Benchmade's designs, um, but nothing really super speaks to me, and the, the prices that they are are just nuts. So, for the higher end stuff, the lower end stuff is it's so weird. They have such a paradox of being a good bargain. Like, like I think like a mini, the standard mini grip and like the standard freak and stuff are are pretty good price, but then some of the stuff is just crazy. But same could be said for Spider Co. So. I'm fearing that the spider apocalypse is just going to get worse when the new stuff comes out. That amalgam and that mantra three look like they're going to charge a lot. But anywho, we're going to wrap this up. Um, uh, we're going to do uh, so. The next couple of reviews you're going to see a couple articles or yeah articles. I'm so used to writing stuff. A couple of things you're going to see. I'm going to do tomorrow morning. There's that. Uh, uh, it's gone now. I kept moving stuff around. There it is. The best tech. War Wolf. Yeah, have a good night too, Tom. And then uh, I'm going to do something about these uh, these lums. Got a pair of three thing coming up. Um, I'm going to do a uh, comparison with the Skyline and the Modus. I got a whole bunch of stuff coming up. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. And very good conversation. I'm going to pick a randomizer comment as soon as this is done. And then I will uh, notify you if I can figure out how to do that on YouTube. It's kind of complicated. Look in and if you, in a little bit. Look in the comments, and I'll I'll say who won the Kilimanjaro. Um, I I shouldn't have given this away. Pl planned poorly because it's very heavy. So it's going to cost me like four dollars to ship. No, but uh, yeah. Okay, thank you guys so much. Really had a really good time. Great questions. You guys are awesome, and. Have a good one.